What's going on here? It's your boy Juggle Nights two back here. And Kefka is getting ready to attack Narsh. Now, what you need to do here, make sure everybody's prepped accordingly, equipped correctly, and healed too. So we're going to do just that. Now, what's going to happen is this. We're going to split up into three parties. And out of the three parties, we have to defend Bannon. So, what I'm going to do... Let's see, it'll show us real quick. We have to defend Bannon. But, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use a party of either three or four to face off against Kefka. That's going to be my main party. Let's see. I am going to use Edgar, Celis, Sabin, and Cyan. I hate to leave Gal by himself but I'm not going to use them. Now, it'll help to battle everybody. Let's see what we got here. It's General Celis, the traitor. How delightful. This shall be fun. So much fun. Vile insects, are we? Okay, we're gonna uh, move the main party up front. And we're gonna leave Gal right here, and we're gonna just start going on the offensive. We're gonna use the main party right here. Now, multi attacks. Especially, you know, if they attack in groups, are going to help. Plus, with this uh, kind of party, you're going to be able to level up quicker. So, let's attack them aggressively. Fire Dance and Auto Crossbow are going to be your go-tos. Now, the enemies that come a little bit later from the second line of defense are going to be stronger. So let's attack them quick. Let's hit them fast and hit them hard. As you can tell, shit gets real. I do mean mad real. Alrighty, but when you make your way down, one thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you're healed, and most importantly, prepared. Because this party right here, though, is going to be the one that makes sure that uh, the uh, this, correction. You want to make sure that it's uh, the most decisive way you want to win, though. Playing it aggressively does work. However, though, but you got to play aggressively. And you've got to do it calculatingly. Now, we don't necessarily have to fight the rest of them. But, all we have to do now is just call to an end here. Let's make sure that we're uh, equipped correctly. You know what? We've got an elixir. Nah, we're good. Let's go kick Kefka's ass. Alright, here we go. Alright, here's what you're going to want to do. With Kefka, he's going to be using a lot of magic. Especially trying to poison you and other status effects like confusion. So what you're going to want to do is want to use Runic and everything in the book too. And when you have a chance, 
If you have to heal your entire group, you have Celis. Cast Cure on everybody. However, if you've got the opportunity to do so, use Dried Meat, use Potions, use anything that you can to try to stay alive. Because numbers, in this case... Hang on. Oh, would you look at that? Because numbers in this case, though, are going to help out. There we go. He's dwindling down. Don't think you won. I'll be back. And of course he runs away. Alrighty. Along with the peace ring. Now all together that took me about 30 minutes to do. But I shaped it down because... Let's just say though... I didn't want to bore everybody. Hmm. Where's the Esper? Let's make sure everything's good. Yeah, the assault on Narsh is definitely one of the more uh, trying challenges at the beginning of the game. Indeed, it was a close call. Damn near impossible. What is it? Uh-oh. She's reacting to the Esper. No! Whoa! You gotta wonder what the connection really is. Terra and the Esper, some kind of a reaction. Ooh, would you listen to that? What? What am I feeling? A uh, connection, obviously. Uh, please tell me, who am I? Woo! Esper. Oh, she can feel its mind. And remember, Salus is a uh, Magitech Knight infused with magic. So there's a part of her that actually feels too. Maybe not as much as Terra, as we've uh, seen. Oh! Terra has seemed to have morphed. Oh. She is now a star in the sky. Uh huh. And flying off she goes. She can fly. Hold tape. Pay close attention to the map. She seems to have flown central northern. <laughs> yep, he's awake, all right. Where's Tara? She changed into something odd and took off. She looked like she looked like an Esper. Lock, you okay? Yeah! I'm dead! Recording. What's going on? And I'm being joined by Misunderstood. I just got off work, how are you doing? <laughs> Alrighty. So we just finished the assault on Narsh. Yeah, it was not fun. Let's see. Oh, excuse Empire me. wants that Esper. Banna needs our help, too. I'm sorry for the interruption, by the way. I have no idea this is happening. Oh, that's cool. You're part of this group, too, so... It's forgivable. Let's split up. Those who are searching for Terra will stay in Gardnarsh. Figaro Castle can shuttle us to the western province. And then we'll make for Kolingen or Jador. Okay, 
So we're gonna take the king, his brother. Which who who whom are pretty much us. Yeah, uh, the fact that you know one of us is male and the other one's female. Yeah. And I think we're gonna take Locke too though because I think Locke needs a little bit more uh, grinding. We'll take we'll leave uh, Cyan and uh, with Mr. Thou if that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, let's see what kind of relics we got. Who's got the uh, sprint shoes? Lock does, and she'll be okay with the. Uh... We'll keep her with the peace ring. Alrighty, with the elixir. Mind you, you can always come back, and you can change group members too. That's yeah. the best thing about it. Gao as a guard, I'm pretty sure they'll be fine. Oh, no doubt about it. So we are on our way to Figaro Castle. Mm -hmm. And on our way to Jador. Or Coligan, as it's called. So on the next episode, we make our way to find Terra. Much love and peace! Hello, goodbye.